Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Oh, what am I doing? Why, I'm working on animation. It's a process of every cartoon you see has someone like me sitting down drawing, whether it's on paper or on a computer, to make it happen. Why don't you come closer and see what I'm working on? Right now, I'm doing an animation test of Dr. Facilier at a Princess and the Frog. So if you take a look, uh, I have to get my fingers placed in the correct position, and you can watch me flip and see how they're going. Now, this is something I'm in the middle of. This is animation paper. I've got here the, the, these pegs. They uh, they keep the paper the papers aligned. So I don't have the, the drawing sliding up and down. Now, if that happens, it's because I made a mistake, not because of my materials. Let's take a look at two of these other tests I've done in the past. This is uh, my animation teacher, AMB Animations, uh, uh, wife. He had made a cartoon version of her for us to practice in the advanced drawing library. This is my, my attempt at that. Now, I didn't use pegs at this time. This is before I had a peg ball or peg, so I just used paper clips and a lot of lines to keep everything lined up. It works, but it's, honestly at this point, it's, it's a little bit crude. It does what it needs to, but it, it makes things a lot more difficult than they need to be. This is the first test I've done with Peg. That's Joshua Sweet from Atlantis. He was animated by animator Ron Husband. So, and when I started off, I thought about making this a dialogue test, but it ended up becoming a lot, took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, and I didn't want to move on to something else. I still am going to do a dialogue test, but perhaps not on this particular subject. There are a lot of places to learn how to animate. The, the, primi the, the ones that teach it the way that uh, the masters did it currently are AMB Animation, Aaron Blaze, and Don Bluth. I happened to learn from, from uh, AMB Animation and it was really a good experience because a lot of animators aren't on the ground, necessarily on the ground floor with their students, so they don't know exactly where we are. They, they teach us as if we know something about animation, but for some of us, myself included, we don't know anything about. We just kind of draw and we think about these flip books and stuff that we have as a kid, and that is, it's not the same. There's just so much to it, and he started teaching and creating a, an archive for us to learn from, but as he did it, he was also mentoring some of us. So he'd say, oh, you should be able to do this. I said, oh, you can't do that. Well, I better make another exercise to teach regular people how to do this. So we end up getting a very comprehensive archive on how to do things because he saw that we were not like animation freshmen or we were not animation anything. So uh, I, I, any, anyone that I mentioned earlier is a great person to, to learn from if you want to be doing this kind of animation. Now, if you're thinking 3D, it's a total, di totally different route, I'm sure. But whatever you're going to do with it, get some characters moving, get some paper, get a tablet, get a mouse, and start animating today.